Hey up everybody, Voxesto here and we are on Ark Survival Evolved for another low profile build and it's pretty much going to be the most low profile build we have done to date and uh, yeah so basically what that means is it's only going to be one foundation it's going to be three walls high you could use it as a starter base you could build it out of wood, I'm going to build it out of stone you could also convert it to metal and use it later date for sort of a, like a refining outpost sort of thing so without mucking about and just talking nonsense let's get stuck in right so if you like the episode or the build hit that thumbs up button and if you're new to the channel don't forget to subscribe where we at we're at 37.6 33.7 we're on the island map so there's this lovely flat area over here but you know we could extend into this we're not going to build it now no 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 we are actually going to be building in this bush that's right there's a nice little cubby hole in this bush to keep us well concealed so it's going to be perfect so to start off I'm just going to throw a campfire down just because you know there's nothing else to it really just throw a campfire down you'll probably use it you might not don't really matter but we're going to keep that tree there we're going to build quite close against it so what are we going to use today one stone foundation stone walls all this stuff here look I don't really need to speak it all out to you you can have a look you can see it only one smithy that I've put two there because I'll probably place one wrong <laughs> a couple ladders more on pestle ceiling bed stuff like that obviously you can use more more on pestles than this or less or even more beds or less it's up to you but all the other stuff like one foundation that's all we're going to use so let's slap that down here I will also put all the uh, mats and that into the description below so you can check out how much you need to have exactly everything I put into this one. So we've got door frame, wallage, and then before we go any further we're going to put a smithy down because we can sneak one in here quite nice. Now when you're doing this, two things to remember, don't put it too close to the edge because you won't be able to put a wall on and put it as close to the wall what we've already placed as you can like that wall there on the right because the closer it is to that the less chance you've got of getting stuck when you open the door and try and get in so let's just have a look at that see what happens oh it's perfect look at that absolutely perfect it worked so let's get in there the only other thing we really want to be doing in here is uh, obviously put your other wall in that'd be preferable is a preserving bin we're going to go for because it's ground floor you know you might argue and say oh well the smithy not on ground floor things like that well don't put the smithy on the ground floor put it on the top floor it don't really matter this is the way I'm building it you know just don't leave stuff on your smithy if it is staying on the bottom floor it don't matter so hatch frame up there with a trap door and that is floor number one done look at that beautiful right now for floor number two you want to get three walls in so the one on the left, the one on the right and the one at the back best way to do this is in K mode unless you want to jump and wing it all you have to do is like face the way a little bit and then just scootle around on the floor and you'll figure it out but on this floor we're gonna do forges because I think it'd be pretty funny to actually access it <laughs> like via hatch frames because you don't need to actually go on the floor itself so it don't really matter too much for this one so get one into the corner as far into the corner as you can just like that but make sure it's not intruding through the wall intrude ons like that look you don't want it sticking through any walls but literally wiggle it until it's as far back as you can possibly have it and as far to the right as you can possibly have it like just one little bit more and then let's have a look there you go, that looks alright to me. Oh, accidentally spinning it. I thought I placed it. <laughs> well, there you go. I did. So, staying where you are, just walk to the side, place another one. Rinse, repeat, same sort of process. Didn't really take much due care into that one though. Then this one, obviously, same again. And you might think, oh, but now we can't get up there. Well, you don't have to get up there, guys. You just have to be able to access them, that is all. 
and you'll be fine doing that. Was that that sea pigeon making that noise? Better been. Stupid sea pigeon. But uh, yeah, so here we go. The floor is nearly done. Put a wall in. The floor is done. Whoa. Right, so now you might be thinking, yeah, but third floor, what are you going on about? Well, the third floor is literally going to be our spawn point and, like, our real storage, if you know what I mean. So, what we're going to do is, obviously, these, look, you can access that one. Sometimes you can't access one. Sometimes you might play some lucky and be able to access all four, but you can access all four from above, so it don't really matter too much about below. But yeah, so what we're going to be doing is, because it's only our spawn point and our proper storage, sneaky storage upstairs, we're going to place ladders here and then every time you log off or leave the base, just destroy the ladders and always keep a spare set of ladders up there. So go up your ladder, get a hatch frame out, pop it down. It's just like that, look, there's nothing else to it. Why is my GPS out? Seriously, this GPS just loves popping out of my pocket. It's like it's... I'm sponsored by it or something, I don't know. So, three walls, just like that. Right, so once three walls are down, you've got to get a bed as far into this corner as you can. Now, you may have a little bit of trouble wiggling, because obviously it's a hatch frame underneath, and it does cause a little bit of a problem. You can't naturally place them where you usually would. But once you've got one down and it's in a happy spot, obviously, keep that spot stuck and spam all your other beds, I mean, put as many as you want in there, guys, it's up to you. You know how sleepy you're going to be. I don't know how tired you are. <laughs> you might need 50 beds. But yeah, so, mortar and pestles. We'll just creep one under the bed there. And then, you should be able to just crawl like that. Pop that there. There you go. That's two. And we want to be putting, you know, you will put at least five up here because then that gives you 60 slots if I'm right of storage space because you can put anything in a mortar and pestle it doesn't really matter and I think they're 12 slot each so 60 slots kind of like having a smithy up here I know they're 75 but in such a small space it's just nice like this so there you go last mortar and pestle lovely job obviously we've got a ceiling above us as well so that's there oh that I don't actually think, yeah, I think I skipped that bit. I must have skipped that bit. But, uh, yeah, so, if you try and enter this hatch from here, this this is the only tricky bit, guys. You you got you have to get used to it. It takes a little bit of a wiggle and a jig and a jive, but it's completely possible. And, obviously, staying as confined as this, is you know it's the main it's the sole ingredient of this really small build because you've got four forges here but if you just like lay down and crouch and lay down and crouch and then lay down eventually you get to a point where you can close that hatch frame and then once it's closed look I can access all four now you know tread carefully guys as soon as you light them you've got to jump out of there as quick as you possibly can because it will just set you alight you just burn down but yeah so that's that's pretty much it guys I mean there's not really much else to say about it other than a door up here and you're good to go it's only one foundation you know it can be easily destroyed but it's a lot easier to hide if you know what I'm saying and if it does get destroyed, well, you haven't lost a lot. And if it's early game, well, it's a pretty cool little build to have. And if it, you know, if you get to the mid game, you can still keep it somewhere. And you can just use that as, like, your outpost for refining the, the metal. Stuff like that. Because we've got that big flat space next to us as well. So we could get all the materials ready. All the mats ready to actually build a good base like while we're hidden and then once we're ready to pop out of the bushes we can just slap it all down and have a nice base so look at that look that's all right i mean i could have put it more in the bushes but if i'd have done that you just wouldn't have been able to see what i was doing at all really would you so i thought i'd just pop it there where it's a little bit more visible for the video and yeah it's pretty nice i like it i don't know why i'm crafting a foundation that's weird 
But uh, yeah, so downstairs, and have, have a second look through. Obviously, you got your forges up there. Two of these you should always be able to access. Yeah, there you go, look. Two in them corners. I'm not too sure what makes the difference as to whether or not you can access it. I think it's just how much they stick over. But then, preserving bin, smithy. You know, you could put another mortar and pestle down here. There's nothing stopping you. Just remember, don't put anything in front of your door, because then you're going to have to mess around going into, like, crouching through your door and stuff like that. And you might just want to want to have the efficiency of being fast in and out, so you can actually like whack metal on, go back out, pick some more metal up, whack me metal on, smell it, get it done, that sort of thing. But yeah, I, I really like this build, guys. This is probably one of my favourite builds because. Anywhere you can put one foundation, you can build this build, and it's got a smithy, preserving bin, four forges, a bed, enough storage to get you started, anything like that. So once again, we'll just go up the top and have another look. Have I got? Yeah, I've got loads of junk on me. Yeah, let's just let's just have a proper fly and have a look, shall we? Because we didn't really have a fly and what are you doing, look? Oh, me and this bird, we are seriously gonna fall out and it's gonna end up in a frying pan. Shouldn't have let it hatch. Should have just had a scrambled egg. So there you go, look. From this side you can see it a little bit more because obviously there aren't so much bushes but if you dig it in deep there's loads of bushes and then this flat area you know it's, it's such a nice area you don't even have to cut the trees down you can fit a good sized base in there and still still stay a bit hidden so it's definitely something worth taking note of there's a couple of these ledges along here what are the same but if i fly up you'll see where we are there's the snow biome and there's the volcano there you go volcano so you know where the metal is you know where you are and if you're just sort of knocking about you know chances are I'm not even going to go into the, where the base is on my first attempt is it here? no look I've, where is it? I've proper overshot it myself and I've literally just built it What? Am I too low down? Yeah, I think I'm too low down. No, that's too high up. But look, here's another flat ledge. That's a nice ledge. It's not as hidden though. Oh, this is the flat spot. Okay, so it's over here. Look at that. Beauty. It's beauty. It's just, it's just a stone pillar. That's all it is. There's nothing special to it. So yeah, that's pretty much it guys, it's been a really short vid, hope you've enjoyed it, a nice little tight build for you, keep, keep, keep hidden, stay safe, stay green, stay in the woods and all that. If you liked the vid, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and if you're new to the channel, pop a subscribe and we'll see you next time. Take it easy.